welcome back everyone to my let's play of the dog island we did a lot of uh fun things the past few episodes playing a bunch of soccer now it's time to get back to questing and we're going to start off by delivering that special hibiscus to peter so that he can uh share his feelings with amalia but he handed over the special hibiscus thank you let's go see amalia all right I'm crossing my paws for you, Pete. Uh-oh, let's see what's going on here. Hey, what's up? Hold on. I'll tell her myself. Um. Come on, man, just spit it out. Uh, uh, Amalia? Yes? I like, I like you. I mean, I... I'm in love with you. In love? Yes. I'm sorry, I don't feel the same way about you. Aww. I, I have feelings for someone else. Oh, okay, don't worry about it. Poor Peter. Unquieted love stinks. I'm sorry, Peter. Don't be sorry. I'm just glad I could finally get this off my chest. Well, okay, I better get going now. Okay, bye. Well, Peter, I guess, took it pretty well. Hey, one on the street says that Mal Shiggy is too busy with his business. Maybe it's our chance to help him out. He should be in uh, Mashiggy's fashion store in Pussville. Why don't we pay him a visit? Yeah, we could do that. We've been going to that shop a lot to uh, get new items from Hope. So, what what uh, quest he has for us? Rough. Sugar, you know the fashion show, the one produced by Dogs for Dogs. Yes, dear, that's right. The Pooch Fashion Collection is coming soon. Oh, I can hardly wait. Is this exciting? Of course, the one and only fashion expert in Popsville, I, Mashigi, cannot miss this fascinating event. Hmm? But he's like, huh? Oh, you don't know? I am so busy, like, I can barely even have time to chat with you. Hey, everyone. Where's my beautiful feather? It was supposed to arrive here today. Ugh. Oh, never mind. Well, I guess I know what we're gonna be doing. Yep, Buddy knows too. Hey, you though, don't just stand there. Bring me the beautiful feather. The beautiful feather smells like this. You are forced to learn the scent of the beautiful feather. You can get one in the North Sandy Desert. Now hurry, get going. I like how we're forced. And, uh, the princess did that too. Uh, she forced us to learn the smell of stuff, so. Well, back to the desert. Hey, boys, we need to, uh, warp to, uh, the desert, so, go to, uh, GG Lee Village. Alright, well, well, we'll be talking with you later. First, let's, uh, after we get this, uh, beautiful feather. So, let's go sniffing for this beautiful feather. Joint. Sniff, 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 buddy. Avoid that thing. Ooh, it's up here somewhere. Getting closer. Let's sniff. Ooh. Getting close. Up here to the north somewhere. Oh, that snake. We aggro that snake. Good thing we kept running. Nope. Other way, buddy. Going the wrong way. Over to the left. There we go. Right here by this cactus. We got the beautiful feather. All right. So now I guess we can uh, warp back to uh, Pup's villain. Turn in that beautiful feather. I wonder who dropped that beautiful feather. What animal dropped it? Or Because there's no like birds flying around here. It might have been better in the, uh, the uh, dry valley. And then it could have been like maybe one of the vultures dropped it. So... 
I don't know. All right. Well, back here in Popsville. Yoink. Let's tone in this feather. And then we're also going to have to do uh, some other things here. Uh, we also uh, managed to defeat all the victory uh, gang dogs, so you should probably go pay them a visit then, too, in their little uh, clubhouse. Oh, Sugar, you brought it to me. Thank you, darling. Oh, right. Hey, you kicked all Victory Gang's tails, I think. Yes, we did. So let's go uh, talk with them. The interesting thing is, uh, even though uh, uh, Bill doesn't have any new uh, info to say about these uh, things. So it's going to head on in here, and looks like it's time for a confrontation. Oh, look at all the dogs. The buddy's like, what's up? Hey, what's going on? I don't think they can see you, Potassium, remember? You want some more? All right, let's do it. Uh oh McCoy, Camus, Will. Cloak. Aw, looks like we underestimated you. They all bow their heads. We figured you didn't stand a chance against us, but you beat us fair and square. But me and Camus know better now. We realize that we're just a bunch of big fish in a little pond. So, we'd like for you to be our new leader. Please! Aw, oh, come on. Pretty please? You know, if you reject this offer now, we're just going to end up fighting each other again. That's not what we want. And you know that's definitely not what the townsfolk want either, right? So please, let's accept. And we're going to give an awesome speech. So you're going to take our offer? All right, from now on, you are the leader. Pleased to meet you, leader. Can you give everyone a speech? Best speech ever in a video game. Right here. Whenever you're ready. Wonderful. Nice speech, leader. No dog can ever make a speech like that. Everyone, today marks the beginning of the new Victory Gang. With our new leader, we shall make the world a better place. Quest completed. All right, here's what we can do. We can take care of those troubled dogs. Or we can go to the Rune Village. Well, let's go help the dogs and check out the Rune Caverns. Let's uh, help some dogs out. So... And now only uh, Camus here is in the uh, thing. I'm doing well, thank you. That's good to know. Alright. Joink! Hey, we got another letter! Let's uh, check out that letter. What do we got here? Ooh, a bag! Must be from Mom. We got the hand-woven bag. Sadly, we can't use that like an accessory, so... It would have been nice if they would have let you, but... Let's read the letter. I made a bag for you. Dear buddy. Is everything okay? We are doing fine. I made a bag for you, and I want you to use it. It's got a lot of pockets. And it can hold a lot of items. Please be careful. Bye! All right, nice. So who needs help? Let's sniff around. Ooh, we got someone in Pupsville and the Gola Highlands and Rune Village. So, hmm, got quite a quite a few folks. So, nope. What are we gonna do here? Do -do -do -do. I'm looking at my notes. All right, let's go to uh, let's do the Gola Highlands here. Look at my time. We'll have enough time to uh, do this series of quests. This is actually the first in, uh, uh, of several quests that we got here with uh, Hans, the painter. So, we're going to warp right here to the Gola Highlands, and Hans is going to be right near us, so... Right. Hey, we know where to find you, boys. You're pretty much everywhere. Hey, there's Hans right there, right behind us. How's it going, Hans? Blue, it is such a beautiful color, my friend. Don't you agree with me on this? Mm, sure, why not? It is so calming and has the, this power to pull the viewer into it. 
Blue is definitely the color that should be used in real art. They say the great painter named Henry found a new way to make a beautiful new blue color. If I could just have that blue paint, I'd be able to draw a masterpiece. And that's where you come in. When Henry made his new blue color, he used a blue stone called a lapis lazuli. I heard that in order to get a lapis lazuli, you need the aid of a giraffe. Well, good thing we have the giraffe note. I need you to bring me one, my friend. You will? Oh, that is great, thank you. I think the lapis lazuli smells like this. Now, when we were uh, in this area earlier, uh, we kind of smelt like a, uh, a special item. It would be a big help to make one small step for uh, dog kind here. So we smelt that smell uh, over here. We didn't know what the smell was because it had a question mark. Well, now we know what that smell is. It's the uh, lapis lazuli. But we're going to have to go over here. There's going to be a ledge we can jump down. Uh, you saw the, there was a giraffe over there. Upper left. So we're going to have to jump down here. And the lapis lazuli is in here. And then we're going to need the giraffe to lift us back up. So that's why we need the aid of the giraffe. Because he's going to lift us back up. So show him the giraffe's note. He'll pick us up. Put us back on the ledge. And then we can take the... Uh, the lapis lazuli to Hans. Boop. Good job. Mm -hmm. So, yoink. Run past this gorilla who's sleeping. The one who uh, so did not want to drop his, uh, his hat. Yeah, it's turning into Hans here. And then he's going to move to the Snow Village for a second part of the quest. So, we'll talk with Boris again and warp there. I knew you could find it. I'm sure you will go down in history. As the one who helped the genius painter Hans. And we've completed another quest. And Hans has disappeared. He's a fast dog. Because we pull up our map and we sniff. We now see that there is someone who needs help in the Snow Village. And that is Hans, so let's warp to uh, Snow Village and talk with uh, Hans there and see what he needs. Alright, where are you at, Hans? There he is! By the statue in the center. The blue error has passed, what do you think? Well, that was a quick error. The current hot color is red, you know. Red. They say the wandering genius painter Henry made a beautiful red color with a new ingredient. I always knew red would be the cool, new cool color of today. They say Henry used the red colored stone called a cinnabar. If I had that red, I would make the best piece of art. It would be amazing. It would change the world of art forever. Well, maybe not change the world, but you know what I mean. And so here's the catch, my friend. That ingredient, you know, I want you to find this cinnabar for me. Great, thank you. I think the cinnabar smells like this. I hope the cinnabar can be found near some hot springs. I need to make the ultimate masterpiece. Alright, so let's go find this cinnabar. It's going to be on the East Chile field. So we're going to have to uh, cross the ice again. Uh, barking at that penguin. But, hey, Linda. We're going to have to do a quest with her a little bit later. So keep her in mind. Yoink. So let's go find the penguin, bark at it, and then follow it across the ice again. I hope they can't put that cinnabar by the that spring right there. We have to traverse the slippy ice. Penguin in. Keep it in our sight. He's a crafty little penguin. Junk. There we go. Alright, thank you, Mr. Penguin, for guiding ac us across the ice again. Yeah, let's go find that cinnabar. Remember, it's by a hot spring, so. Looks like it's gonna be by the one over here. Uh. There you go. Getting close. 
Hey bear. Long time we're gonna have to scare with a bear. That's right where the bear is. So close. There we go. What's up, bear? We're gonna bog get you. There we go. And then we're gonna dig up the Cinnabon. Huh. It's not really near a hot spring. Like, unlike Henry's hat and cat, remember? It was right next to the hot spring. Alright. Alright, well, we got it. That's all that matters. Now let's go uh, turn it into uh, Hans. And because we did uh, the all the. Uh, quest with Henry and we got Henry's art after we complete this quest We're gonna have another quest with Hans or a request from Hans and uh, Two different things can happen. I'll show them both off. So I'll make a save here so that We can see both uh, the results All right Keep playing normally I don't keep playing when I make a save, but we still got some time here So let's turn the Cinnabar into Hans you handed him the Cinnabar. Yes, I knew you would find it. With this, my name will go down in history in history books. As the genius color maestro Hans. Hehehe. <laughs> a quest is completed. Alright, now Hans has another bubble above him, so this is where we're actually gonna do the save, so. So Hans is going to ask us for Henry's painting, and depending on what we say. Uh, determines, you know, what he says here and what he says later in the game, so. Rough. Hey, is that painting? Isn't that a painting drawn by Henry? I've been looking for that for ages. So it is true. It does really exist. You know what? You don't know how to appreciate art the way I do. And since you really have no use for it, say, would you be willing to, you know, let someone else have it? I mean, why don't you give it to me? He seems very rude, so we're gonna say no. Well, that's a pity. So yeah, and then he goes back to Pupsville, and if we go back to Pupsville and talk with him, uh, back in his house, he'll have some dialogue to tell us. So, let's go see what that dialogue is. We know where to find you. Everywhere. Drink. There's Han's house right there to the left. Drink. What are you going to tell us, Hans? I can't believe he'd give you a, valuable, a painting this valuable to someone like you. It's a fine line between genius and madness, I guess. Alright, well let's see what happens if we actually give him the painting. So we'll just fast forward through this uh, thing. Yeah, it's the painting drawn by Henry. Okay, let's give it to him. Oof, here we go. You hand over the Henry's painting. Woohoo, great. I've got to show this to my fellow artists. Yeah, we actually get a woof for it. And we get different dialogue out in uh, Popsville. So let's see what that dialogue is. Oh, Linda. I was looking to see if she has a request yet. We'll have a quest with Linda later on. She'll be involved in a series of quests we got coming up. So, has to deal with the person we need to help. Uh, over there in Popsville, so Remember we had uh, somebody here in Popsville who needs our help But We'll have to wait until next episode for that because we're running out of time here but We have enough time to see what Hans has to say. Why wow, this is simply magnificent. I've got to go brag about this to my fellow artists this is tr a truly brilliant work of art. Just look, such powerful strokes, such bold sincerity. But you wouldn't understand, would you, my friend? I don't know, maybe we're really good at art. I think it's funny, it looked like he was drawing a dog there. So. <laughs> hey, Wilbur, do you have anything to say? Oh, no, nope, he's still saying the same thing. Thought he might have something new to say since he, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, he helped him with his little quest there, so. But uh, speaking of questing and helping, we have somebody here in uh, Popsville who uh, still needs our help. So uh, that's what we're gonna do in our next episode. We're gonna find out who needs our help here in Popsville and see what we can do to help them out. Take care, have a good day. Bye.